Who are you? What did you do with my husband? And what do you want from me? Hello, good morning. Don't mind me, just a lady that slept in her makeup again. <laughs> but I wanted to show you this. Look at, look at, look at, look at, check it out, check it out, check it out. Avocado plant. Oh, new leaves. So happy. He's very happy. Welcome to the world. Oh my God, you're so beautiful. So my husband, Steve Green, comedy. I don't know if you know him. Um, he just came over and asked me if I was hungry. And I said, yes, I'm starving. And then he proceeded to make me vegan tacos, completely vegan, beans are vegan, everything's vegan, and plated it like this, and then served it to me, and then was like, would you also like a margarita? What is, hap what, what is happening? Either he loves me a lot, or he's poisoning that margarita and he's trying to collect some life insurance, because this is, this is love, man. This is like, what's happening? Wow. Who are you? What did you do with my husband? And what do you want from me? Wait, no, I am your husband. I give you margarita. Oh my goodness. Cheers. Cheers. I love you. I love you. Happy Taco Wednesday. Happy Taco Wednesday. I thought it was Tuesday. It is Tuesday. Oh, it is Tuesday. Hey, how about that? I was willing to believe whatever you told me. I like a Wednesday. It did. It, was, it sounded accurate. Yeah. This is great. Good job. What happened? Grand Marnier happened. Wow. Mm -hmm. But I mean like the whole night. Wow, the whole meal. You like all that shit? Yeah. yeah it's yeah, sexy yeah. as hell. Can do. You trying to give me a boner? Yeah, always. Well, I got one. Hell yeah. Raging hard boner for you. Mm. You want you ready for this boner? Good morning. I just got done running three miles, over three miles. 3.15 miles or 3.16. I don't know. Steve's at JK today, so I'm just doing like a bunch of managerial stuff today. It's a, did I not tell you it's a party channel? Oh my God, we're doing taxes. We're doing contracts with my lawyer. We're doing invoices. Oh my goodness. Are you excited? I have to respond to a few emails I've been procrastinating on. And oh, oh, what, how, I almost forgot. I got a new filing cabinet, so we're gonna refile all the files. <laughs> Jokes aside, I'm actually super excited about it. What is this life? Like, what happens when you turn 30? Like, what happens? I'm very excited because we finally have hardwood floors up in the office, so this filing cabinet has wheels. How, how easy. Like, if I wanna file things, I just roll it out, file some papers, roll it back. Ah, it's gonna be so cool. When you see our old filing system, you will understand the excitement. That's my trick, I think, to being excited about new things in life is start with like the bottom, like just the worst stuff. Just like give yourself the worst things and live with it for like five years. And then any upgrade is so exciting. You're just like so stoked on life every, every day. That's my secret. Don't start at the top. There's nowhere else to go. Don't even start at the middle, because then you don't have that much room. You know, like you could go down. Start at the fucking bottom. Get the worst shit. Live in the worst apartment with the worst carpets. Not this one, our old apartment was really bad. Um, anyway, I gotta get going, because I got a lot of really fun party things to do, but um, just wanted to update you, and uh, I'll see you in a bit. Like the world is on a side Nothing can bring me down tonight And ooh, baby When we're together, you and I Your touch sends chills down my spine All right, hey. Hello, good morning. So I don't know if it, this is because it's February. It probably is because of that. Probably is 100% to do with subliminal marketing and the fact that I've probably been seeing a lot more pink and red and fuzzy and hearts lately in my social media. 
I don't know, I don't recall seeing these things, but I feel like my mind has been accepted because all I want to do is dress like fluffy and pink and Valentine's-y. I got this jacket last month, but I didn't get a chance to wear it yet because there hasn't been a pink day. And it's not even a pink day today. It's a blue day, but I have blue pants on, so I'm not cheating. So I wanted to do a pink, pink look. We just, I want to go full out pink. I want to be girly and pink, and I just am looking at these glasses, and I'm like, I want to be this. I want to be these glasses. So I remembered that I had this palette, the ultimate pinky pink. I never really tested the pink colors in it. I don't know why I bought it and didn't test any of the pink colors in it, but yeah, I haven't even touched them. Um, I've, if you look at what's been touched, it's like all the tan, brown, maybe some gold. Wow, adventurous, Nikki. So today we're venturing into this land right here, this little land, and I'm very excited. I don't know what's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen. We're shooting shit they don't tell you today, so you'll see what's gonna happen. And we're talking about very serious things. Let's get our serious look on. My mother is a soldier who veteran. We after a week in the trenches. My dad's a weapon against my panic expression. Wonder if I'm liking my question that cross my conscience. Pretty often I'm guessing. Prayer ain't cause he ate off of my mother's depression. Under our weeks without a second to rest. My life's a blessing that's been given by a hard day's work. Another question, let me ask you what your hard day's worth. A child's smile, the dollar spent on dinner, let the heartaches hurt. So let me ask you what your hard day's worth. Said, let me ask you what your hot day's worth. Is it money? Is it, is it lust, greed, or envy? Is it every evil under the sun? Is it trending? Would you listen if my mission wasn't drifting up MC? Would you listen? Is it love? Is it hate? A familial embrace? An escape from that pain stilled state we all create? This is fun. This is a fun look. Maybe we'll do this for Valentine's Day. I don't know. I don't know. Don't pressure me. I don't know. I tried out another set from the doe eyelashes that they sent me. This one is in fairy dust. Mm-hmm. It is very magical. I'm... Oh, yes. See, these, not a casual look, but very nice for it if you want to go loud i feel like a little valentine's day cloud how cute i want to put these on but i don't want the glasses to ruin my makeup oh god okay yeah 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 i'm into it that was fun that was fun slap it high hello good morning it's sunday and we're on our way to santa barbara to do super bowl and christmas with my parents in Since that order in that order okay well maybe christmas first yeah, depending so. on what time we get there but we didn't have Christmas, so we're having it. And what day is today? Today is Super Bowl Sunday, baby! <laughs> February 7th! Who's gonna win today, Nikki? I think... Oh, um, okay. Everyone wants to know your expert football analysis. I know, well, up until today, just now, Steve and I were both rooting for the Bucks, but today I looked at, I looked real hard at pictures of Tom Brady and Mahomes, and I just got a root from Mahomes. I just got a root from Mahomes, and, I, and I'm sorry, Tom Brady. Listen, Tom Brady, if you're watching this. You and I could have been something. I always didn't like you very much, I have to say. I'm cold. Yeah, that's fan. why I'm shocked. I'm utterly shook that you're Listen, rooting for him. Bruce Arians was probably the best co 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 coach that the Colts had in like the past Colts 10 years. The Colts that the coach had. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, that was pretty clear about that. And uh, he was, he took over for Chuck Pagano when he got cancer, and then he coached us into the playoffs. So I love that man. So Bruce Arians, so he's the coach of the Bruce Bucks. Arians. And I'm rooting for the Bucks because of him. Here's the thing is that I don't like to root for the same team to win the Super Bowl in a row, which is why I didn't want to root for the Chiefs. Yep. But Mahomes was my quarterback all fantasy football season, and I just feel like we have a bond I can't shake. I, I just can't. Like, I can't too. abandon him now 
like the pivotal moment at the moment. Fantasy bonds are strong because I've yeah. been watching The Amazing Race with you and D'Angelo Williams, who's on that show, he's one of the NFL players. Yeah. He was my fantasy running back for like two years in a row. See? So I get it. I man. mean, listen, I still have ties to Eddie Lacy. I just can't shake them. I get it. I just can't. Like, if Eddie Lacy came in and was like, I'm going to play the Super Bowl, and it was like, the Chiefs and the Bucks versus Eddie Lacy. I'm rooting for Eddie Lacy, you I know? I totally like, get it, man. Also, I think they're gonna win. I think Tampa Bay's gonna win. Tampa? Because they have a, a way better defense, way better offensive well, Yeah, line. and like the Chiefs are all hurt and like have COVID and stuff. Yeah, the two of them did. Yeah. yeah. So. I mean, the Chiefs are at a severe disadvantage and I think that's why I have to root for them today. They have a lot of firepower on offense, though, I have to say, but so do the Bucks. so. Go Chiefs. It's gonna be a close one, I think. Close one. I'm going to say 24, 21 bucks. I'm also torn because I'm like, man, it could have been us instead of the bucks. So fuck the bucks. But then also, I want to, at least if they were going to beat us and go to the Super Bowl, then like they should win the Super Bowl. That's but fair. I, 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 then yeah. it's like, oh, we lost to the Super Bowl winners. Yeah, you lost to the Super Bowl champions. Super Bowl losers. That's what that always feels good. We'll see what happens. We should put money on it. I'm good. Huh. Actually, we do have money on, um, we're playing squares with our Patreon today which is fine, yeah, that's fine. Um, but there's no buy-in it was just if whoever wins they we're just gonna pay them cash prizes yeah they get the pot yeah i think this is a um, christmas and easter combined because we're not gonna see anyone for easter either so there's that this is our 10th year watching the super bowl together me and this guy right here even before we were together and we're usually the only people watching the game, and it's true. But this this guy just ruined it. He, he just came in. But he pretend like he watching the game, but he's not really. He didn't watch Who are you ready for? This is soccer, right? Yeah, it's uh, football. Then the Lakers. Okay. Good luck to you. Good luck. Lakers do win a lot. It's halftime, so it's Christmas. <gasps> Look, it's Christmas. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. We just said it's Christmas, okay? Look at Christmas. Christmas. Hello, good morning. We just woke up from the day after Super Bowl. We all clean my parents' houses after a party. It's like they clean right away. Anyway, so guess what time it is? Guess. Guess, Steve did this to me. Guess. Guess what time it is. It's morning, we just woke up. Guess. I know. <laughs> it's 10 a.m. 10 a.m. I mean, 9.55. This is what happens when you don't have kitties waking you up every hour. Pretty incredible. Pretty crazy. You can sleep in. I usually wake up at seven. Yeah. Pretty nuts. 10 a.m. Wow. Are we on vacation? We're driving back to LA today. Um, Guess I didn't really bring, need to bring like all my stuff with me because we're literally just going right home. So I am taking this test from Modern Fertility. I'll show ya. It looks like this. Uh, Modernfertility.com, not sponsored, but they sponsored us on Big Mood, so that's how come we got these uh, tests. I got a couple questions on the vlog asking if we're still trying, how's that going, are we gonna test for fertility, blah, blah, blah. And I will let you know that we have not been trying since spring of last, like basically when the pandemic started, as soon as we found out that it wasn't gonna be like, as soon as we found out that the pandemic was gonna last for a while, um, I didn't really feel comfortable trying to get continue to get pregnant it just felt like so unknown like you know stability is like thrown off not that i mean like for other people right now i know i have a lot of friends right now that are pregnant and that's great and i'm really happy for them some gave birth during the pandemic and um and they're they're loving it they're thriving they're great but for me i just know that that's there's too much going on. There's too much going on. So yeah, we haven't really been trying to get pregnant. It's kind of like a, well, we won't use protection and if it happens, then it happens, but we're not actively trying. That being said, I do want to know if my fertility is still up there and good and thriving because uh, my age is getting to that age where maybe we don't know we don't know you know a couple of years ago i got tested and my gynecologist was like holy balls you are extremely fertile right now but that was a couple of years ago you know things can change so um and so anyway i'm taking this fertility test because um it was given to us by our sponsors and i 
want to know because I'm curious, but I messed up last time. So you have to wait till your third day of your cycle and um, or your period or whatever. And uh, you're not supposed to eat too. There's so many rules. What does it say? It says day three of your period. Testing takes about 15 minutes. It says you need to fast for at least eight hours. So last time, the first time I didn't know you had to wait till the third day of your period. The second time I didn't know you had to fast. I just don't read instructions, I guess. Oh, it says it's easiest to test when you wake up. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, it's 1 p.m. Does it, is it fine? It's fine, right? It's fine. Increase blood flow before pricking your finger, run your hands under warm water, rub them together, jump around. Oh, we have to take blood. Oh, gross. blood than I thought it was gonna take. My finger won't stop bleeding. <laughs> I had to take a food sensitivity test one time and I didn't have enough blood in my finger so this time I ran it under warm water and I jumped up and down and I did all kinds of things and I think I'm, I have too much blood now. Too much. I'm gonna be a target for vampires. Is it space? Is it pause? Is the place you can pause? Dress your pause, not often leave your day. Is it faith? Is it God? Be it Jesus or Allah? Is it worth your stress and hard work throughout the day? 